Hello guys, this is fourth video of uh, writing the XPath and CSS and we will see uh, some more example of CSS and XPath. So let's say this is the site www.actitime.com. So let's say this is the site and uh, this is the HTML. Okay, so let me show you uh, the HTML inspect when you do inspect and when you inspect any one of that uh, header menu so what we have here is we have li elements right these are the li is nothing but the list of menu what we have now how to identify all the li elements uh, through the reference of parent right through the reference of parent so let's say this is the parent and inside that we have ul and then we have li so how do i identify that if you look at here uh, again I will go back here and so again this is also the main uh, head I mean the main tag inside this tag we have a nav and inside the nav we have a ul and inside the ul we have a li so through this parent tag head container we can identify all the li element so what we can write is we can write slash slash div at class is equal to header container okay can look at here I have written slash slash div at class is equal to header container then slash nav slash ul so header container slash nav slash ul slash li so li of one if you look at the li of one will be will give you the first object of your HTML so again you do control F and you can paste here see this is giving you first when you change this to the second this will get second when you change this to the third you will get the third one purchase highlighted when you change to the four the clients got highlighted when you change to the five productivity talks get highlighted right when you change to the six help center will get highlighted so through the reference of uh, actually uh, parent we can identify all the object okay reference of li we can add li to the reference of parent node so if you know the parent node you can identify all the node what we have now let's say how to write css for that so if you look at everywhere what we have is now let's say how do we write a css for that so we know that for class we can just write dot okay and uh, remove this you put a angle bracket nav you put one more angle bracket and for li we can just go ahead with the nth child so nth hyphen child of one is nothing but and put here a colon guys remember always this is the first li when you change to the second become second li when you change to the third third li purchase when you change to the fourth clients when you change to the five productivity talks when you change to the six health center so you can just change the uh, nth child and your all object will get identified that's how you can do that through the reference of parent okay through the reference of this class header container we are able to identify all the li so this is another way of writing the x path right now this is very uh, important here in this uh, I will cover all the sibling concepts following siblings preceding siblings parent child concept in this HTML which I'll make a separate video for that guys so with this I am closing this XPath and CSS for the uh, how to identify the XPath and CSS through the reference of parent node thank you guys thank you for watching this